strange COVID times, a uh, perfect place to go up on the mountain, get outside and get a little, uh, little exercise up there as well. People are having a good time. Yeah, it's definitely the spot to go. Beautiful view of the mountain, yeah. outdoors, like you mentioned, spot on place to be. Love that. Yeah, and you can see all the different types of uh, dogs out there. You know, the small ones, you know, it's really the good cool looking there. ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Tonight, here's Aileen Nay. Busy tonight. Temperatures have been in the 70s, cooling down as we head into the overnight, hopefully to the upper 50s, so kind of cool things down because it did get sticky warm today. We had temperatures uh, topping off in the upper 80s for a lot of locations, even close to 90 degrees. We haven't hit 90 for some time. Tomorrow, I have more summer heat. Temperatures above average, you know, relative. It's, it's not going to be extreme heat. Uh, we're just going to be maybe a good four or five degrees above our average as we go into tomorrow afternoon, hovering right around the mid 80s. Temperatures will be dropping though to start off the week because we have some cooler air about to arrive again. That's going to be on Monday and Tuesday. So if you enjoyed today's day, uh, the weather, you know, that we have, tomorrow's going to be your day as well. It should feel pretty nice out there. And we're wrapping up August this week, starting off September, which means our average high and lows are going to continue to go down. Overnight temperatures eventually into about the mid 50s. 71 degrees coming out of the Oregon coast today. I promise you tomorrow will be a bit cooler for you folks. And more cloud coverage as well as onshore flow really starts to pick on up. 87 coming out of Portland. Salem, as I mentioned, really close to 90. And the Dallas today did hit 90. I was down in the upper 50s tonight, close to 60 around downtown. Uh, Astoria at about 53 and some temperatures there in the 40s there for central Oregon. Tomorrow I have another day full sunshine. Great day if you're up on the mountain, if you're down here in the valley, it's going to be really nice. Temperatures about the mid 80s. All right, tonight there's no rain, but we are watching this system off towards the northwest that will be shifting to the east as we go. Really bringing in some cool air, more cloud coverage, maybe a couple drops out there as we head into Monday or Tuesday. Here's Hurricane Ida. You can see the eye of the hurricane now as it continues its path up towards the northwest here before it starts to steer to the north. Very strong tonight. It continues to show growth and it's category for hurricane as we head into tomorrow morning and into the afternoon. So we'll have to continue to monitor that moving slow wind to about 105 northwest at 16 miles per hour. And then you can see how it pulls and drags to the, the northeast. But the trajectory again is a little bit east of where it was uh, earlier projected. OK, forecast rain tools. Check this out anywhere from about five a little bit more than that. So this is going to be a very serious situation. Future cast up here for us. It's dry. There's the clouds tomorrow. Oregon coast. Those break apart. They will dissipate. Hopefully you have a nice finish to the day tomorrow. And then by the time we get to tomorrow night, temperatures, you know, cool, nice, clear night for Sunday heading into Monday. Monday at 72. Tuesday just at 70. Wow. 78 degrees on Wednesday there. And then we have nice weather returning. Looks like it, Wayne. Thursday and Friday temperatures back into the mid 80s. So just a little cool stretch. Monday.